Okay, so here we will try the spike using debug mode by running spike minus the pk and then the user application. pk here will act as a kernel. It will be the interface between the between the hardware and the user application. And then by running interactive debug mode we type help we can see the comments there are reg core and reg register it means display register in what core so let's type um, reg 0 on core 0 of course mm, then let's see the a0 value is zero because the program doesn't run yet so the program that we run is this one as you can see it will print the hello res5 and then we have assembly here which will change the value of a0 to ab and a1 to cd ADDI means this is the register destination and this register for source and this is the value of immediate and then we print the notification that we have changed the value and then we also change again the value replace with PA and DC X0 is hardwired to 0 so the value will be A0 is PA and A1 is DC. So let's check. Here I also have the the object dump of our program. Let's start by moving jumping to this address so we can use until pc core 0 reach this value so it, at this point the res5 is already print the hello res5 but it doesn't change the value of A0 yet so we need to step once to run one step to change the value of A0 for now let's see the value of A0 register at core 0 A0 it is A because it the, it is the return from print f so let's run one step you can put run or r and then count it will resume the execution so right now we will we are in this program counter 1015e in here so we will run on here we will execute this line not immediate a0171 so we get the assembly executed here so we will check the value of a0 is it true that a0 will change to hexadecimal ab or 171 decimal and yes the value is changed we run once again Oh, let's check first the value of a1 it is random so let's run one again to execute this one and then check the register again oh, sorry yeah and then the value has changed we have we will change also 
the value to another value like PANDC so we can just jump on that part by using until PC0 to um, 10170 this time we already print the value it doesn't matter and at this point a0 is again a random from the previous operation so let's run one step again which will execute this one the value will be should be PA or 189 decimal let's check the value and it's PA and also runs once again and check the A0 value A1 value and it's DC so that's how we use the spike for debug and see the register we can also check the memory and there is also run while register is something or PC is something or even memory we can also run silent without printing and Q for quit and help is to show this interactive command helps we can also use float register view to see the float register but right now our spike is not run as floating extension so we don't have floating register to see the other option that spike has we can spike minus h and then it can simulate number of processors so by default it will run once we can define how many processor that we will use to run the user program and it can change the you can change the value of the memory by default is 2 gigabytes and it can provide memory region with the size of m and n bytes at bed address that we can specify it by ourselves this is the previously debug mode that we use and we can track histogram of program counter uh, or even generate the log execution let's try minus l this is the log uh, at this point it will log also the pk instruction because spike also runs the pk and the actual kernel runs the instruction of our user application there is also change for string default isa and there is also privilege mode machine supervisor or user and there is also vector architecture we can also overwrite the elf that means the bootloader we can write the bare metal application by using this command and other option now let's try gdb this is the most used debugger that has so many features let's try using this application okay so now we will continue to debug using gdb which is more advanced than like debugging and for this one we need to have open ocd on chip debugger so let's start by installing the open ocd we can get open ocd on risc 5 open ocd repository let's start by cloning All right, let's build. Oops. And make the build.
follow the instruction first we have to bootstrap and then try to configure use our default mm, directory so we have this file demo and then we make it and then let's install So we have the open OCD on our directory. Now we are ready to try the GDB. So let's start with this program. First we have to have we have to compile this program. The example of rota rotation 13. This is the cipher text. This one, this program will decrypt the cipher text by rotating using rotating 13, and then it will show the it will save the decrypt decrypted text or pl plain text on the same variable, and then we have to change the variable weight first to zero. To make it run and then it will finish at this phase so we can see the value of this cipher text and then we also have to configure the linker for our program and we will compile using our compiler by using minus g and minus zero g to enable the gdb debugging info and the output will become rot 1364.0 and what we compile is the c file and then after that we link with our linker script here so we don't need start files and we have the output as 64 bit and link the object previously made by previous command. To debug this program, we will use this command pike and set the RB bit bank port this one and then we also need to configure the open OC open OCD with this configuration and then run the open OCD to connect with the spec and then after that open OCD will open the port for GDB at 3333 to connect. Let's try. First let's compile the program and then link it with this configuration and then we can run the program using spike with bitbank port at 9 a24 at this time spike is running and then we need to turn on the open ocd with our spike configuration at this moment the open ocd is already listening to the port 3233 for gdb connection so in another terminal we can start the gdb on file rotation 13 in gdb we can connect to the local host. Let's specify the port. 
this point, the GDB is already connected to the OpenOCD and OpenOCD connected to the spike. And here we can understand the program has weight, while weight. So we need to set the weight to zero to start the program. Here is weight is one. So let's change it to zero. And then let's see the text. This is the cipher text. And then we make a breakpoint to the done label that we have. So the program will run and stop at the, when it finish. And then run the program, continue. At this point, the text variable should be already decrypted. We can see the value by using print text. And here it is. Section chat wants to be free. With this step, we can debug any user program by using OpenOCD and GDB.